Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you some of my favorites. I like to call these videos things I'm loving right now because I don't like to be tied down to a certain month. So <laughs> these are things I've been using over the past couple of months. I am going to try to get back in the habit of doing these monthly because this video is gonna be a long one. So make sure you grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the favorites. So before we get into the things that I've been loving, let me quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are the things that you're into, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. And if you are returning, hey y'all, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. Now, without further ado, let's get into the products. So we're gonna start out with my beauty products. I do have a couple of makeup products, not very many, because honestly, I have not been wearing very much makeup. But I'll start with the lip product I'm wearing. And this is from Maybelline. This is part of the Lifter Gloss Line. I have it in the shade Amber. And I really like the color, but also the feel of this lip gloss. I feel like it gives me good shine without looking too greasy. And I like that you can see the caramel color, but it's not overly opaque it doesn't look like i have a bunch of stuff just like sitting on my lips so i really like that i haven't been wearing much lipstick lately just because of the mask situation uh, but i have been wearing gloss still on a regular basis so this is one that i've been pulling for a lot and then the other gloss that i have is from nars and this is one of their oil infused lip tints and i have the shade orgasm i actually have two shades but this is the one i've been wearing the most now i will say this is like a very sheer color it is pretty but it is really sheer so i'm not positive that this is worth the full price i mean if you got it like that you got it like that but <laughs> i'm still loving it i don't know if i would repurchase it at full price though i have been told that they are selling these in costco so I need to check that out, but I haven't been to Costco lately. So if you find these in Costco, pick it up. This is a really nice formula. It is a lip oil, so it is very moisturizing. It does not dry my lips out at all. The color is sheer, but it, again, it looks very pretty on the lips. And for me, I mean, I'm pretty much wearing gloss on a regular basis, so I'm not really going for a ton of color. Um, so it works for me. Although this one is a shimmery color, it's not like very like glittery so it's shimmery kind of like it has kind of a sheen to it um an iridescence to it but it's not glittery so i really like that next i do have a blush that i've been reaching for a lot this is the old blush and this is probably my number one blush it's either number one or number two blush of all time hopefully i didn't share this with y'all last time but if i did it deserves another share <laughs> this is from nars and this is taj mahal my packaging looks horrible but this blush still works perfectly well for me. I love it. It is a shimmery orange color, but it's more of like a rusty orange. I feel like this works really great on uh, deep or dark skin tones. I don't know if you are like fair skin, if this will work for you, it could be a bit too much, but if you use a light hand, you probably can get away with it. But I'm wearing it today and it's just the blush that I always want to reach for. Um, I just feel like it does so much for my cheeks <laughs> like it gives me some color but it also gives me some sheen so i'm not wearing a highlighter with it well not really i have one more product to share with y'all but uh, i'm not wearing a high a real highlighter like a powder highlighter but it's still giving me the sheen like i am but just using the blush so i love taj mahal if you are a woman of color just get this y'all you will not regret it just get it Go light handed with it because it can pack a punch, but this is just unbeatable. <laughs> the next product that I have is also from NARS, and I know this is NARS heavy, but I've just come to terms with NARS is my favorite makeup brand, like sorry. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by NARS, but I would be. <laughs> NARS, where you at? Pay me. But anyway, um, so I have two of them, but these are the NARS, what are these called? Tinted Blow tinted glow boosters and um, i've had this one for a while now this is in the shade tang c and it's the medium dark shade so i've had this one for a while and i recently also picked up Barbu uh, barbuda which is the dark shade so that's them side by side um 
but these are just like a shimmery glow product so the reason i've been using them a lot lately is because i have been testing out the new nars foundation the soft matte one it's not listed as a favorite in this video because it's not really a favorite like i wanted to be honest with y'all i do like it but i didn't feel like it deserved a spot in this video but these i've been using in combination with that foundation and i just feel like it just is a match made in heaven but i like these because they're just so versatile these are not like your traditional liquid highlighter because they're very like subtle so you can wear these underneath makeup you can wear them on top of makeup today what i did was i used the shade that i used today i think i used tang c i'm pretty sure that's the shade i used today and I just applied that all over my face like I would a primer. And then I put my foundation on top of that, which is the soft matte foundation from NARS. But um, yeah, I just really like these. The reason I ended up ordering the darker shade is because initially I had a shade of the foundation that was too light for me. And I felt like this would do a good job of darkening it up. And it did. Um, right now I'm wearing the shade Caracas. But initially i tried the shade cadiz and this will work with cadiz but i also can use this with any other foundation that i want i like having both of these because i feel like the darker shade will be better when i get like a bit of a darker tan and then the lighter shade i can wear pretty much any time but i really like these and i like the formula of them i don't feel like they make me greasy and they're not sparkly at all and i just feel like they're very versatile so if you're looking for a liquid highlighter i would highly recommend these so the next product that I have is a lip mask and this is from Laneige. This is the lip sleeping mask and this is the new like gummy bear flavor or scent. <laughs> and I've been using Laneige lip mask for forever. I sometimes stray away from them but then I always come back and this new gummy bear scent I really like. I really enjoy it. It definitely smells like Haribo gummy bears. Mm, so good or like fruit snacks. So yeah, I really like this one and it works just as well as all the other ones, but I felt like it was worth a mention because I know the Sephora sale is coming up. And so if you're interested in the Laneige lip balm, I really like this one. So if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I typically do gel manicures on myself, but I always like to take a break like after I've been doing them for a while. So I'm currently on a break. I probably will do another gel manicure next week. But right now during this break, I've really been enjoying using these because they are super quick. Regular nail polish does not last on me. So if I can get my nails done super quick, then it's not such a big deal if that makes sense. So I'll get them done super quick. They'll chip like within a day or two, <laughs> two days. Uh, but that's okay because I can do them again in a 10 minute stint as, a, as you know, opposed to spending 30 to 40 minutes doing my nails and then they chip in two days, if that makes sense. So I've really been liking these two colors. Um, They're both new to me. This one that I'm wearing is called grease lightning and it's like this kind of like slate gray and then the other one that i really like is called in neutral and this is like really close to my skin tone it's a nice new nail polish for deeper skin tones but both i've really been enjoying and i've used both of these probably at least like three times each because like i said they do chip in about a day but i'm or about two days um, but I'm okay with that because it takes me no time at all to do them. Next, I do have one hair product to share with you all. And this is from Shea Moisture. This is the Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. I really hope I didn't share this in my last favorites. I don't think I did, but if I did, sorry. Um, I love this. This is a nice protein mask for the hair that still keeps your hair moisturized. So. I've really been enjoying using this. Um, not much to say about it other than that. You can use this as a pre-treatment or as a uh, deep conditioner after you shampoo. I've used it both ways. I like it both ways. Uh, if I'm feeling lazy, then I'll do the pre-treatment and, and then I'll wash my hair. If I'm feeling like I have more time, then I'll do it like after shampooing. But either way, I think it works well. I think it keeps my hair soft and manageable, but stronger. And yeah, it smells good as most Shea Moisture products do. So I highly recommend this. I think it's about $10 and you get eight ounces. I don't feel like I need to use a ton of it. So I still have some left, even though I've been using this. I've probably used this at least about three times, three or four times now. So, and I still have a good amount left. 
I do have color treated hair, so I do feel like my hair needs protein more than some of you all probably. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've used it like three or four times already and that's, I probably use it like every three weeks or so. So about a month ago, one of you all reached out to me to try some of your products from your business and I want to thank you. Um, so these products are from Ascented Soul. I will leave the information for the company down below. Um, but she sent me quite a few things to try. I'm just really appreciative of it. So um, let me share my favorites with you all. I'm not gonna share everything she sent me, but the stuff that I love, I really wanted to share with you all. So first up is the Whip Shea Butter. So she sent me two scents. And what I will say about her products is that they are all like heavily scented. So if you love a good, smell good, you will love her stuff. Uh, so like I said, these are both Whip Shea Butters. Uh, the first one that I have here is Tropical Punch, and this one just smells like Tropical Punch, <laughs> but not in a juvenile way. It smells really, really nice. I'm, what I've been doing with these, I haven't used a ton, as you can see, <clears throat> but what I've been doing with these is putting them on my feet at night. Now, I don't do it every night because I'm just really bad about keeping up with stuff, to be completely honest. <laughs> But when I remember, I'll put it on my feet at night and put my socks on and I just feel like it makes my skin so soft. If I don't feel like spraying a fragrance at night, then I will put them all over my body, like right after the shower. Um, but if I do feel like spraying a fragrance, then I won't put this on all over because I don't want them to compete. Because like I said, they are very scented. So you could definitely do this if you don't like spraying your like expensive perfumes at night. Something like this would work well for you. And like I said, they're just very moisturizing. They smell good. They are a nice texture. I've tried some other like whipped shea butters before and the texture was just off. Like I feel like they kind of break apart. This one is whipped really nicely. And so they spread very easily and a little bit goes a long way. So uh, yeah, I really love these. The two scents that I have that I um, enjoy are Tropical Punch and Black Cherry. And with the black cherry, I feel like the cherry is just what really well done. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all know I love cherry. But this cherry is really well done. It does not smell like cough syrup. And I actually have layered this with um, another, a cherry fragrance. What is it? Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir. And it did really, really well with that. You could also layer it with Lost Cherry or any cherry fragrance really. Um, but yeah, it just will help to extend the wear of that fragrance. So yeah, if you are looking for a cherry lotion, this one is excellent. Now, I know Jergens does their little, their cherry almond lotion, which I really like. But if you want something like heavily moisturized, moisturizing, then uh, this whip shea butter would be an awesome choice. And it's from a small woman, black woman owned business. So if y'all are interested in trying her products, I will link them down below. I do have one more item from her that I wanted to share and it is the body scrub. So she sent me two body scrubs. I only bought one of them from my bathroom. <laughs> but this one <clears throat> is the scent Plumeria. And y'all, this is actually my favorite out of what she sent me as far as product. Both scents I really like that she sent me, but as far as products that she sent me, the body scrub is amazing. Um, you can see I've used it. <laughs> but not only do they smell good, but they are so moisturizing. So I feel like they really help to get the dead skin off. But like when you rub them in, it's not like a regular scrub. It kind of like, it almost feels like you're putting a moisturizing product on that just has a little bit of exfol or that has exfoliation in it. So I don't, you probably can't tell, but when you mix it with water, you can really like see it almost like, I don't want to say it lathers up, but kind of like it gets kind of foamy. Um, so yeah, I used this the other night when I took a bath, like in the tub. Excellent. And my skin felt so soft and moisturized afterwards. So but highly recommend these products. Make sure y'all check her out below and yeah, order something if you're interested. So speaking of smell goods, I do have a candle that I want to share with you all. And this one I actually picked up at Marshall's, but it's from the brand DW Home. And this is the smoked bourbon scent. And this is really, really good, y'all. It smells like brandy or cognac. Um, so if you're into those types of scents and you want a candle like that, then pick this up. Like you will not regret it. 
I looked in there the other day to see if I could find another one, but they didn't have it. So if you find this, pick it up. Um, with the DW Holmes candles, I find that they have pretty good throw, um, but like the smaller ones like this, I have to kind of keep in a smaller area. So I keep this in my master bathroom and I could smell it in my bedroom too, like when I burn it. So yeah, it's really, really nice. I highly recommend. It was only seven bucks. And if I find some more of these, I'll definitely be picking it up. Next up, I wanna share some accessories with you all. And I have to start with my jewelry. Uh, the jewelry that I have on was actually sent to me. So thank you to Perry Foya for sending this out to me. I really love these. A lot of you all have been asking about the pieces that I've been wearing. I've literally been wearing these pieces, especially this necklace. I haven't taken it off since I got the pieces and some of you all have noticed it in videos and you've asked about it. So I wanted to come on here and finally tell you all about them, but I love them. They've held up really well. They look brand new still and I've been wearing them in the shower. Like I said, haven't taken the necklace off at all. I have taken off the earrings and the ring just cause I don't sleep in earrings or a ring. Um, but I have been washing my hands constantly. I've washed my hair um, with the earrings in. I think I washed them, I washed my hair one time with the earrings in just to make sure it would hold up. And they look perfect. So good, very good quality. They feel very well made. And I'll show you a couple close ups, but I really love this necklace. It's so different than anything I have. It's like Marquise Stations. They have these created diamonds in it that just when they kind of like fall on your collarbone, the light hits it just right, they'll sparkle. And I just feel like it's very dainty, but at the same time, it's also different. So I've been loving that. The ring fits me perfectly. I've been wearing this with everything. I've actually stacked it with some of my other jewelry and that works out well too. And then these earrings are just perfect for like day-to-day -day use. I've been wearing these to work a lot. Um, they're like the perfect size. They're very comfortable, but they feel very thick and well made, which I really like. And they're like sometimes with hoops, if you get them and they're not very well made, they'll end up bending. These don't feel like they'll do that at all. So if you're interested in the jewelry that I'm wearing, I will link it down below. I do have a discount code with them as well. So if you want to get some money off, you can. Using my links for these items will not get me any money, but it just helps the company track to see how well I did talking about them. So if you want to support my channel and you're interested in these pieces, then please use my links. If not, it's okay. <laughs> Next up, I have two pairs of sunglasses. I recently did a video on some sunglasses that I ordered from the brand Diff and I've been wearing them and loving them and I ordered four pairs but I want to share two with you all today. These are the two that I've been wearing the most. Uh, so first up is this pair and I believe this is called a Dash. Again, I will be linking it down below. Sorry, they're dirty. I did not prepare but I just love these. They're a classic aviator but the color is just perfection. Um, it's like a rose gold pinky tone. And I just feel like the color goes with so much. And it's not, it's like the perfect shade of like rosy pink. I love them. So, and these are very comfortable. Um, they're not too big for my face. And yeah, I have not been super careful with them and they still feel brand new besides my dirty fingerprints all over them. The other pair that I have is this pair, and I believe these are called the Gia's. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> but these are very nice. They're so different than anything else I own. They're big and oversized. Uh, if you don't want people seeing your face, these are the ones for you. Uh, even though they are kind of like sheer, <laughs> as far as like, it's not a super dark tint on them. I still feel like they kind of hide your eyes. So. Sometimes I like that. Um, yeah, very, very good. Both of these, I feel like really protect my eyes from the sun. Sometimes I get sunglasses that are kind of lighter and I feel like they really don't block out the sun much, but these really do block out the sun. So I really recommend both of these. So next up, I want to share with you two bags. Uh, the first one is this one, it's from Gucci. This is actually a vintage bag, so it's no longer available, but it does look very similar to the Gucci Ophidia like chain bag, I believe it's called. But I got this a long time ago, probably about two years ago, 
but it's really old i think this is from the 80s <laughs> and i believe it's actually a toiletry bag back then but i really like carrying this as a clutch especially when i'm going out but i don't want to be like too dressed up but i don't want to be too dressed down and i feel like carrying a clutch i like this one typically my go-to like clutch when i'm just being casual would be my louis vuitton the true 26 but recently i've been using this one instead for those occasions and i'm really enjoying it i just it's different i never see anybody carrying it because it's old of course <laughs> and i just feel like it fits like underneath the arm perfectly um and it fits a lot of stuff you don't have to downsize to carry this i honestly can fit like as much stuff as i would fit like in a mini bag in a clutch like this um and i can fit all my masks my hand sanitizer lotion all that kind of stuff and the other bag that I have is actually for my daughter. So this is a cute little bag. I have a three-year-old daughter. One of my friends bought this for her and got it shipped to us. And it is just super cute. It's like the perfect size for her. She can wear it crossbody. And I know this is kind of weird for me to show, but I honestly love it. <laughs> and I figure some of you all may want to buy this for your kid if you have a little diva daughter like me. Now, I don't let her wear this to school or anything, um, but she does play with it like around the house or take it in the car with us sometimes. And she'll put her little, like whatever she's carrying around that day. So if it's like a little stuffed animal or like figurine or whatever that she can fit in there, she'll put that in there and carry it around. But I just thought this was too cute not to share. So yeah, this is super cute. Um, I know my friend got this from Amazon, but I don't know if I'll be able to link it. I'll have to reach out to her and see if she can send me a link for it. But yeah, super, super cute. Next up, it's super random, but I wanted to share my favorite mask. <laughs> so it's these masks from Old Navy. It's not necessarily the print. It's just the type of mask. So I like that the ear pieces are adjustable because none of the other masks except for the medical mask seem to fit me well. Um, so when I want to use a reusable mask I, mask, I really like these and they come in packs of five or you can buy them, I think, in packs of three as well. But I typically buy the packs of five because I like to like wash mine and nobody wants to be wearing a dirty mask. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like these. Um, they just fit me perfectly. And then, of course, they expand like that. But they also come in a kid's version. Now, the kid's version does not have the adjustable ears. Um, I, but I feel like they do fit a lot better than the other kids masks that I found. Um, this one I tied up for a little bit for Chloe on the ears, but for Noah, it fits him perfectly. So, um, yeah, just want to share that in case you're still looking for like the best fitting mask. So next up is a beverage and this is a coffee. It's a K-cup from Starbucks. This is the maple pecan. Now, unfortunately this is limited edition. So if you see this in store still, just grab it because let me tell you, you will not regret it. This has like such a buttery, smooth flavor. Uh, it's so good. This has been my favorite. It beat out all my other Starbucks favorites right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you like the, I think last year sometimes Starbucks had like a maple pecan latte. If you like that, you will like this. Of course, this is not a latte, it's just coffee but once you put like your cream it really just brings out the flavor of this coffee and i love it unfortunately my local target doesn't carry it anymore but i did find it at walmart and i bought all they had left so if you see it snag it thank me later next up is a beverage holder and it would be this wine glass so i picked these up from amazon i will link them and i've actually ordered some for my mom some for my friends <laughs> So pretty much everybody's drinking out of these, but I love it. It's so tall, like so, such a long stem, and I just really like the shape. It's kind of more of a like rectangle shape, if you can see that. It's not a perfect rectangle. I do like those as well, but um, it's kind of like a mix between a regular wine glass and kind of a rectangular sh shape. And these are really big, so this amount of wine that's in here is probably it's probably just under one glass <laughs> but if you fill this up to here that's like half a bottle of wine for sure so yeah you have to be careful with these but so they're so nice next up that's super random is a stress relieving activity that i've been doing besides drinking wine <laughs> and that would be adult coloring so this is a coloring book that i want to share so i've had this for a while 
but I honestly neglected it for a while. But recently I started picking it up again and coloring in it and I've really been enjoying it. So typically, especially like on Sundays, I'll color with the kids. So they'll color their books and I'll color mine. So I wanted to share this with y'all. I did get it from Target and I'll show you some of the little designs, but this is like, um, it's, it's called Whatever is Lovely and it's a coloring book for reflection and worship. So it's filled with all these nice messages, some Bible verses, um, yeah, so just inspirational stuff. Let me show you one that I colored. So, like this. So, what I like about it is, well, I like the messages in the book, but also what I've been doing differently this time is using actual markers to color. And I feel like it's just more satisfying. Last time when I tried to do this, I was using colored pencils. And I just feel like the markers are just much more satisfying. So, <laughs> but I really like this book. Um, it's just a bunch of like designs and I do like that some of them are really like small and kind of difficult like this kind of like tedious but then some are not so tedious like that I also bought one from Amazon I'll link that one down below but it's actually currently upstairs in my bedroom right now so I'm not, not gonna go get it but I like both of them but this one I like a little bit better and then the markers I've been using they're just in this little I have a problem taking tags off stuff. Anybody else like that? I've had this bag for I don't know how long, but probably like a year or two, and I've just never taken the tag off. But <laughs> the markers that I've been using and loving are these from Sharpie. And it was a pack that I bought from Target for like $10 for like 20 markers. So I feel like it's a really good deal. I really like the colors. I do wish that I was able to find like another pack with different colors because I love like a ton of colors. <laughs> Um, but these are holding me over for right now and I just feel like it's a good amount of variety so I'll link the ones that I have down below if they're still available and then the last thing I want to share was just entertainment so first up the book that I have loved the most recently is called The Wives by Taryn Fisher now I did not read this book I listened to the audio version but it was excellent y'all if you like psychological suspense novels check this one out I was pleasantly surprised I've seen it pop up as a recommendation for me before but I don't know it just never really appealed to me and then the other or not the other day like a few weeks ago maybe like a month ago I went ahead and tried it and I loved it so I highly recommend that book and then the TV show that I've been watching lately that I wanted to share with y'all is girlfriends so y'all know girlfriends is on Netflix now and I like having a TV show like that that I can just watch just to like unwind. I'm not a binger. I cannot watch a bunch of TV, but it's nice to have something to watch in the background or to watch when I just want to like kick back. <laughs> so that's what I use reality TV for and I kind of feel like this kind of serves the same purpose. And yeah, I've just been really enjoying that show again. I did watch it when it came on like years and years ago, but at the time I was a lot younger. And so I feel like I actually relate better now because I'm a full on adult. Whereas then I was kind of like, maybe like teenager, or early college. I couldn't relate to some of the stuff they're talking about, but now I do. And that just makes it funnier. So <laughs> anyway, check out Girlfriends if you haven't. And that is it for my long favorites video. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do these more often because this video took me forever to film. Camera cut off several times because apparently I'm very long winded today. <laughs> and my camera is just like, it's against me apparently. So uh, I'm gonna try to do these more often so that they can be a bit shorter. But thank you for sticking around. If you watch the entire video, please make sure you are subscribed. Please make sure you thumbs up this video and share with us down below what's the number one thing that you've been loving lately. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.